Welcome back to the Magical Office. If you're new, my name is May, and this is a different setup. I have another DIY potion making video for you today. It's a little bit better because I have a table this time, and hopefully I won't drop anything because I do that in almost every one of my videos. What you'll need for this DIY is a glass bottle with a twist cap. That way no liquids spill out. If you're going to do it with a cork, you can always wax seal it. I unfortunately do not have my wax or my wax stamp with me at this magical office. I left it at the other one. It will come. And then I can show you a picture on my Instagram. If you would like to follow, it is at magically.may. And you can see behind the scenes photos as well as pieces of my collection throughout the week. So like I said, what you'll need is a glass bottle. I have them already pre-filled with water. And I have three different ones because I'm going to be making three potions in this video. We have our lovely Demi Guys. It's a tropical Demi Guys and I wanted to come on here and say she has a name. Her name is Addie. If you saw my short, you would have known that already, but I figured not everybody sees the shorts that I make, so I just fill you in right here. The Tropical Demi Guys is named Addie. So she has our brewing cauldron, as well as our advanced potion making book, because you know you need your advanced potion making book to make some potions. I also already have a pre-made potion. It kind of looks like Felix Felicia's. So I'm going to put in a video now of what it looks like up close because it is so cool. I had this idea from one of my bridesmaids who made potion bottle drinks for my bachelorette party and I was like, I'm going to make this into a potion making DIY video for my YouTube channel because of how cool these turn out. So. Another thing you'll need is luster dust. You can get it in the edible version as well as the non-edible. I got the non-edible, the edible version. I got the edible luster dust powder because I figured I could have some friends over and we could make some potiony drinks later on. You will also need a measuring tool that fits the lid of your or the lip of your bottle. For me, that is called a pinch, which is 1 16th of a teaspoon, in case you're wondering, as well as a tissue to wipe off any luster dust so you're not mixing them if you are going to make multiple in a row, which I was really excited to do. So that's why I decided that we're gonna make three today. But anyway, I also have some dried flower petals in this fancy flower teacup to add to one of my bottles. We will do that one last. So the first thing, the first one that I'm going to make is unicorn blood, which we all know from the Harry Potter movies and the books that it is a silver color. So I'm going to put those aside so I don't bump into them. And I'm going to grab my silver luster dust. Open it on up and hopefully not spill anything. Now this looks white in person so I'm hoping I've never made this silver one before. I've never made the unicorn blood before. So I'm hoping that when it goes into the water and it swirls around it looks more silvery. Otherwise it might not be unicorn blood, it might be something different. I'm going to put three sixteenths of a teaspoon into this potion. And then I'm going to close it and see what it looks like. This doesn't look like it's as silvery as I would expect it to be for unicorn blood. But, my oh my, does that create a beautiful color. Oh, that's so cool. It's very simple to make these. I'm going to make a later video this month about a different way to make these potions, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and check out that video. It'll probably come out in the third week of April. I haven't 
gotten my lineup yet, but you will see another DIY potion this month. But there you go, that is our first bottle of the day. Our second one. We see that Addie is brewing a magenta or purplish potion. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to close the lid of the, what they call silver. To me it looks more white, but that's okay. And I'm going to open up the purple luster dust. It has a seal on it that is much harder to open than the silver one was. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't drop anything on the floor this time. I just dropped a ton of luster dust onto my disc, which was fun. I have some on my finger. I didn't even open the bottle. Look at me go. Ahead of the game. Now it's open. We're good to go. And now know why they said to wear gloves. They didn't. I was like, I got this. I'm not gonna spill anything. It's everywhere. Okay. Cleaning off in between. That way I do not mix colors. Not that I think it would matter that much if I mix the colors because it's not like it's different products. It's not like I'm putting it into like cayenne pepper and then into this. But anyway, that's besides the point. Again, I'm going to do 3 sixteenths of a teaspoon. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. It just depends on how much goes into the bottle. This one's gonna be so cool. All right. Put that back on my napkin and close up the luster dust. That way I don't spill any more purple because I got a lot of spilled purple. Tighten the cap. Shake, 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 shake. And there you have it. A purple potion. So cool. Looking. And as you can see with the water and the luster dust, it settles towards the bottom, but a way to make it back to that sparkling shimmer that you saw when you first shake it up is simply shake it again, which I think is really cool. And instead of putting all four of them that I will have at this point onto my potion shelf, I might keep one on my desk. So that way, when I'm getting bored of doing work, I can shake it up and watch it shimmer around and then get back to work. That's what you're there for, right? I'm telling you. Okay. For this next bottle, we're going to make it a little bit more special. I want to see what happens when I add the flower petals to our potion. So this is a mixture of flower petals of two different variety of flowers for the life of me. The two different types of flowers that we're putting in here is called a rice flower, as well as little tiny pieces of status. And then we are going to add rose gold luster dust to this one because I think it'll look really nice with the rice flower, which is a light pink color. I'm really liking light pink recently. If you can't tell with my uh, Tropical Denny Guys purchase over here. Who has been here for almost a month, which is very exciting. Okay, that was a little more difficult than I wanted it to be. And again, you clean off in between if you are making more than one in one sitting, which I bought the luster dust off of Amazon. Which 
it was very reasonable. Two one. I got this luster dust off of Amazon and it came in a pack of ten colors. So you could really make ten potions in one setting. So you just want to make sure that when you are doing your potion making and you're using the luster dust to clean it off before you start a new set. Now this bottle shape is different than the others, so I'm interested to see how that changes or doesn't change how it looks on the in the bottles, how it looks in the bottles. Ooh! Just splash water everywhere. Huh. <sighs> Didn't get any on the dummy, guys. That's really good. But I got some all over my hands. My desk is shiny. Okay. Let me just clean off my hands a little bit. You will see them when I come up and show you all the this. I think it's because I had it a little bit too full. Okay. You can't really see the flowers in this one. I think it might have, the flowers might have been seen better in the white one. And this also is not really that rose gold color. It's more of a, like a bronze color, which is fine. Also, I am going to need to wax seal this one very soon because it doesn't feel like the lid is as secure as I would like it to be. That's okay. It'll be fine. It's just going to sit on a shelf. That will not be the one sitting on my desk. I hope you enjoyed this fun DIY as much as I did. I hope you did not make as big of a mess as I did. But you can always find the luster dust on Amazon. I can link that in the description box below if you would like to make your own DIY potion. And remember to like this video, leave a comment on what you would name this purple potion and subscribe to my channel if you are new and would like to see more of these fun magical DIYs, collection tours, hauls. We're even going to be doing a video that is touring the wand and cloak this month. So stay tuned for that. I will see you next time in the magical office. Bye-bye.